They say Iceland is green and Greenland is icy. Well, that's partially true. Iceland does have a lot of snow and ice. And it's a lot of fun to snowmobile on. A lot of Iceland's ice is in the form of glaciers, which you can actually snowmobile on or have a snowball fight on. But it's not all snow and ice in Iceland. There are geysers, for instance. Geysers you can actually walk up to. You might have to jump back from if you get too close. And while it's tempting to follow the steam as it wafts into the distance, you have to pay attention because you might see a second eruption. Of course, the water doesn't always come out of the ground. Sometimes it falls towards it, as we see here at the High Foss, or High Falls. One of the amazing things about this waterfall was the ability to climb the rocks behind it and get an entirely different view. Few people, of course, think of Iceland without thinking of volcanoes. And those volcanoes lead to some spectacular black sand beaches. Of course, not many people think of trolls when they visit Iceland, but the Icelandic people believe that those two rock formations are actually frozen trolls. Trolls who got caught in the sun while towing a ship back towards this cave. Since they never made it, it's not known if they got to see this waterfall and the double rainbow in front of it. A rainbow which can be seen when looking directly at the waterfall. Or which can be seen by looking at the mist in front of the waterfall. Many of the waterfalls in Iceland are formed from glacial runoff, which is crystal clear and cold enough to drink. Of course, as we saw with the geyser earlier, some of it is geothermally heated and hot enough to be boiling directly out of the ground. It throws off vast clouds of steam, which, if you're adventurous enough, you can use to pretend you're the Terminator. Additional adventure can be found at Iceland's other waterfalls, such as the Gullfoss waterfall. You can actually walk directly up to this waterfall, but you have to be very careful as it's very icy. The Icelandic people tell a story of three children who were not careful and fell into this waterfall. Their mother placed a curse on the waterfall, and now no one is capable of crossing it on the bridge that the children tried to use. Hraunfosser is just a stone throw from Barnafosser, and this waterfall is unique in that it comes directly out of the rocks. This waterfall actually represents glacial melt that's traveling underground and joins this river here. The river flows out towards the Atlantic Ocean. On the Atlantic Ocean, one finds the town of Vík, Iceland's southernmost town. In addition to being the southernmost town, it is known for its spectacular Atlantic Ocean views. Of course, no trip to Iceland would be complete without visiting the capital city of Reykjavik. One of the best ways to see Reykjavik is from the top of the Hall Grimskirka, a Protestant church standing 244 feet tall. As Iceland's tallest building, it provides views unparalleled, including the statue of Leif Erikson, given to the Icelandic people by the people of the United States, to celebrate the 1,000th anniversary of the Althing, their government. With the country having been around for a thousand years, the Icelandic people have had time to perfect a number of things, and one of them is the art of relaxation. For this reason, the Blue Lagoon, Iceland's most famous resort, is not to be missed. After a day of relaxation, you definitely won't want to leave, but unfortunately you'll have to. 
You will, however, feel very relaxed. I'm so relaxed right now. Of course, such relaxation may come at a price. You may just miss the scenery on the way back to the airport.